All right, so here I am with another video. I've been doing Teams for a little while now, and I'm actually moving on to something with Power Apps. It's for a project I've been working on for a client, and we needed to do some things in Power Apps. <laughs> Essentially, they were looking to provide some user management type capability in Power Apps. This does give them a couple advantages. One, you can pick and choose which fields get updated. You can require certain fields to be filled out in Azure AD. Sorry, if I didn't specify, this is to manage users in Azure AD. You could even put approval processes in front of creating new users where anybody could go request a new user, you could put some type of approval process in it, and then go automatically create that user using Power Automate and Azure AD. So that's kind of a long backstory on this. What I specifically wanted to show today was how to generate passwords in Power Apps. So one of the things that you need to do when you create a new Azure AD account via Azure Automation is supply a password. You can set that a user should change this password on first login, but you still have to provide that password. You may not want to have this be a standard password. It would be easy to figure out, jump in right away when a user was created if you're always using the same password, if that's hard coded. Let's face it, asking people to come up with passwords isn't always the best option. So maybe you just want to auto-generate a password or somehow supply that password and have it be different every time. I did a bunch of looking around and couldn't find a good way to do it. And there's a couple different ways people have tried it. There is a RAND function in Power Apps, but that only generates random numbers. So we needed a way to come up with a random password, a mix of uppercase, lowercase, numeric is what I'm gonna to show today. If you wanted to add symbols in here, it would be very easy to add symbols, special characters in your password generator. But that's what I'm gonna quickly demonstrate is how to go about all of that. Uh, another thing, I am using a new setup too, so let me know how you like it. I picked up a new camera, some lights, kind of reconfigured the office a little bit. Let me know if you have any feedback, any comments on the video, if you wanna know how I did it all. Um, it took me a little bit, but I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, also, if you wanna see more videos, comment below, subscribe, click the like button. Let me know that you want more of these. So let's dive into generating random passwords in Power Apps. Over here, I have just a blank Power App. There is absolutely nothing in it. I just started a blank one so we didn't have to wait for that. It's an app and a screen. I'm going to drop a couple buttons on here. So let's go to our insert. Let's add a button here. And this button is actually going to load our characters. So this button, say load password characters is the first button we have. We need a second button that is going to generate the password and Let's add a label so we can actually see what the password is gonna be. This is all we're gonna put. Once you generate this, you could go do anything you wanted to with it. The first thing we need to do is pick our character set for our password. This is a little time consuming. I'll post a copy of all this text in the YouTube video down below. And while you're down below grabbing that, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. This is going to be a monster table of all the values we want. I will make this a little bit bigger so you can actually see it. On select of our button one, we are actually going in and setting a variable with a table. And this is an important part to make sure it's a table. So you can see I have all my uppercase characters, I have all my lowercase characters, and I have all my numbers, one through nine. I forgot to add zero in there, so we'll go ahead and put zero. Again, if you wanna copy and paste this, go grab it. If you wanted to add in some special characters, you could just as easily add in a exclamation points, periods. This is going to be that pool of characters that your password is going to pull from. In this Power App, I'm assigning it to a button, in my actual app, if I was building this, I would probably either add it to the screen and add it to the 
on visible for the screen, or you could even do this in the on start and fill this variable when you started your Power App. So now if I go load password characters and I actually go look at my variables, you will see I have a global variable, I have my variable password characters. If I go in and look at this table, you'll see it's a table of all those characters that we generated. Now that we can pull from our characters, the trick is to generate the password. And this is one that I wasn't quite sure how to do. I actually found a video when I was kind of looking through how to randomly generate passwords where Shane Young talked about randomly generating text. And that's actually where I pulled this from. He had a table of words. He was randomizing the table of words. I said, well, let's just take it to the next level. Let's, instead of randomizing a table of words, let's randomize a table of characters. So again, the random function doesn't work. So to generate a new password, we're gonna go set a password variable. So on select here, we're gonna do update context and we're gonna use our variable password and our variable password. The key to all of this, well, one of the keys to this is shuffle. Shuffle will go in and actually randomize that table of characters. So let's just do shuffle all of those. We're gonna set that to a variable and that's all we're gonna do for now. I'm actually just holding down alt. If you haven't used Power Apps, nifty little trick, push the alt button, it lets you click buttons and actually act like it's playing. Generate password. Let's go recheck those variables now. And in these variables, you can see I still have my global and this is still gonna be that same order, A, B, C, D, E. However, now this password that we set, if we go look at this table, you will see it's been randomized. WW exclamation point UT. If we go click this again, generate a new password, go look at that variable once more, password, you will see now it's one, two, T period L. So we have a brand new set, but this is a table. We can't use a table for a password and that table is also the entire length of all of those characters it randomized everything in the table if you have all your letters uppercase lowercase all your numbers symbols you're looking at like 50 60 ish 70 maybe even 72 character table so let's go in and trim that well not trim that down let's go in and actually turn that into a string because we need a string of characters, not a table of characters. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a concat function. This is different than concatenate. Concatenate will take multiple strings and add them together. Concat will take a table, use an expression, and create a string of table values based on that expression. So we're gonna concatenate, but really all we're doing is we're taking the value of each item in that table and adding those all together. So what this is saying is go take every single value, all 72 of those values, concatenate them all together. If you did something like value plus, sorry, not value plus. If you did something like a value ampersand comma, it would actually concatenate all those together and then put a comma between them. We don't want any other characters in there. We just want the values. So now that we are creating a string, if we go in again, generate our password this time, let's go look at our variables once more, you will actually see that now we have a string of all of our characters. It's gonna be longer. We may not want that length of password. So now the final step is going to be, maybe we want this just to be eight characters. So now that we've concatenated it, we're going to go in and just grab the first eight characters in the string. So we're going to do the left eight characters. And let's go format this so you can see it a little bit better. So first we shuffle all of those uh, characters together. Then we concatenate them to create one long string. And then we just trim it and take eight characters from the left. Finally, just so you can see it, now I'm going to go in and set my text here to my variable password. So this label now will contain whatever is in my variable password. I'm gonna go 
here, play it, generate a password. And now you can see I'm getting an eight character password. And I could just go in and keep clicking this as many times as I want to. It's gonna regenerate that password every time. And see, sometimes I'm gonna get symbols in there, zone with a symbol, sometimes I don't get any lowercase letters. But this would then allow me to go in and essentially take this variable password string and send that off to Azure AD, or frankly, to wherever you want to, wherever you needed that password or that random string of characters to be created. That is it. Nice and simple, a couple, fu a couple functions. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want for the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos all around the Microsoft Cloud, Microsoft 365 and Azure.